Hey everybody, it's Dory here. I'm coming with you with another fun recipe today and it's going to be an Optavia fueling hack. Today we are going to be using the Cinnamon Crunchy O's one of my absolutely favorites. It's good with just almond milk. However, today we're gonna do a little twist to them and we're gonna turn these guys into French toast. And I'm also gonna show you a second way of making them in your mini waffle maker. So let's get to it. Here are the ingredients. You're gonna need one packet of the Cinnamon O's Crunchy Cereal, one tablespoon of low fat or fat free cream cheese, and today we're using fat free cream cheese. Three tablespoons of liquid egg substitute. Cooking spray. Two tablespoons of sugar free syrup of your choice. So you are going to need a mixing bowl, possibly a whisk or a spoon and a blender or a food processor. And if you have a mini waffle maker, you are going to need that as well to make these guys into waffles. Okay, the first step is to blend up your cereal in a food processor or a blender until it's a breadcrumb-like consistency. So I'll be right back. Okay, done blending. So I'm gonna pour it right into my mixing bowl here. Next, add the cream cheese and the liquid egg white substitute. Next, we're gonna mix all the ingredients until it forms in a dough-like consistency. So instead of a whisk that I told you about, I'm actually gonna use a mini uh, spatula. So I'm gonna mix this up until it forms a dough. So the dough just looks just like that, so all mixed well together. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this into three equal parts as much as we can, into three different areas. So there's one, and there is two. It's another dough, and there is three. Alrighty, so we got three different doughs that we're gonna form into French toast sticks, so I'll be right back. So I've learned this from plenty of watching cooking shows. Um, put a little bit of water on your hands and with your dough, you're just going to gather that together. And what you're going to do is going to shape these into French toast sticks. Just like this. So now we've got our French toast sticks. Now we're just going to go ahead and get a skillet and we're gonna actually cook these um, all around, so stay tuned. Now we're just gonna put them on a flat griddle or a skillet. I'm gonna put this on medium to low heat. We don't want them to totally burn. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of nonstick spray. Here we go. Oh yeah. I love that sizzle. So satisfying. And here goes another. What I'm trying to do is just cook them so you don't need to overly, um, you know, burn them or anything. So we're just gonna turn that around just like that. And turn this around as well. Just want them golden brown, just like a French toast stick. I don't want these to burn, so let's see how they're looking. Oh yes, turn them to the side real quick. Maybe they can stay just like that for just a second. If you're watching this, please be careful. Do not burn yourself. So if you want to make these ahead of time, these would be perfect like in the, you can store them in the, the refrigerator, you can store them in the freezer, and then just take them out when you're ready to have them. Heat them up in the microwave and you are good to go. All right guys, and just like this, we've got some nice French toast out of the Optivia Crunchy O cereal. So now we're just gonna drizzle some uh, syrup on top and enjoy for breakfast. 
Okay, so now we're gonna drizzle some sugar-free maple syrup, and this is two tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup. I will link everything down below, what it all counts, what kind of condiments and so forth. That way you can now enjoy a fun breakfast for morning on the weekends. And like I said, easy to prepare, easy to put together. If you wanna make this into batches and freeze them, that's also another great idea. So let's give these a try and see how they taste. All right guys, so now for the taste test of the cinnamon French toast sticks from the Optivia Crunchy O cereal. So here we go. This looks so good. Some syrup on that. Mmm. So delicious. And it does taste just like French toast. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. And it's so good. So stay tuned. I'm actually gonna show you how to make these guys into waffles in your mini waffle maker. So same recipe, I split the dough into three different parts, so they are gonna be dough-like mixture. Right. Mini waffle maker is ready to go, so what I did was with the little, um, the little balls, what I did was flatten them out just a bit, and what we're gonna do is we are just going to place this right in the middle, and we are just going to smash it. All right, so it didn't fully come out like a heart, but that's okay. So we're just gonna take this right out, turn into a little mini waffle. Look how cute that is. Let's give this a whirl. And we're just gonna put that down. Oh yes, there we go. Just gonna get this out and another little waffle there. Okay, now for the last one. Okay, look how beautiful these look. So beautiful. Now we've got waffles out of the French toast recipe we did with the Optavia cinnamon uh, cereal. So let's give this a taste try and go for it. Okay, so now for the taste test for the waffles that we made in our mini waffle maker with the exact same recipe. So let me just grab some sugar-free maple syrup and drizzle that all over the top. Yummy! All right. And now let's grab our fork and give this a try. So I'm gonna take this little guy here and take a bite. Mmm. So tasty with this maple syrup. I mean, you can't go wrong with having this for breakfast on a plan. All right, friends, so now we tried this recipe in a waffle, also French toast. Um, I have not made this recipe with the mixed berry cereal, so if you do, let me know how it goes for you, but that's probably another one I'll have to try to make for sure. But with this recipe, you will actually stay in the fat burning state, so stick to the ingredients. I will list everything. I will try to list it here on the video here, if not in the ingredients, um, and I will Will tell you which you know what ingredient counts as what so if it's a condiment if it's a meal replacement so forth but anyways guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe and please like this video if you have any other suggestions write them in the comments below as well and if you're new to my page say hello I will uh, be replying back to comments in this in the comment section below all right guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video